Hey, I'm Julie Baudet. I'm a chemistry major from Ohio University. And hi, I'm Roxana Cabillo. I'm a computer science major from Ohio State University. And today I'm going to so show Roxana my game, uh, Immune System Tower Defense, or Immune System TD for short. All right, let's play this thing. Let's see how well you do. <laughs> so, we start off with a neutrophil? Yeah, neutrophil. So those are the first white blood cell that you unlock. Okay. And you can place them on the screen and use them to kill bacteria. They die pretty fast, but they kill things fast. Okay. So how did you come up with the idea for this game? Um, I've always been interested in the immune system. And I thought it would be interesting to make it into a game because it's sort of a battle between your body's own cells and the bacteria and viruses. So I just thought it would make it in a video game format where you can sort of physically battle it out. Are these little guys the bacteria or the viruses? Those are bacteria. Okay. So you can see they've got like the little tail thingies on the end. Those are flagellas. That's what they're using to move forward. Okay. And then you can just place it near them. It'll move towards them and kill them. Okay. It sort of does like a little uh, Pac-Man-y type uh, phagocytosis thing, which is what it's called when they eat the bacteria. Sweet. All right, I've already won level one. This seems pretty easy. I mean, I guess you're doing all right. <laughs> so what's this guy then? So that's a macrophage. So there's kind of like neutrophils in that they're both white blood cells, but they're going to live a lot longer. Okay. But they're not going to kill things quite as fast. Ooh. And they're more expensive. So make sure to save up your DNA points. Okay. Did you make this yourself? Yep. I used uh, Unity, which is sort of the the program I used to make it, and then C Sharp, which is the programming language, which is a similar language to JavaScript, which is used in STEM coding, but not quite the same. Okay. Looks like I'm doing pretty good here. Oh, yeah, but can you get a macrophage out? I don't think so. I don't have enough DNA. Oh, These man. guys are coming too fast. What is this? Oh, that's a virus. You should definitely, definitely let it hit one of your cells. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe you can afford one. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yes. And you beat the level. Level two. All right, you're doing, you're doing okay. I'm doing okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to try and do fantastic. Almost maybe satisfactory. <laughs> What is All this? Right. So this is a strategy decision that you're going to have to try and make. Okay. Try and see um, if you want to put the red blood cells at the top of the screen or towards the bottom. Because they'll make more money at the top, but they'll get killed faster. Mm. It'll be safer towards the bottom. Okay. I think I'm going to play it really safe. Or kind nice of choice. safe. Kind of safe. Kind of safe. Kind of safe. All right. You'll make a decent bit of money if you can keep the top one alive. That's what I'm going for. All right, let's see. Oh, oh that is fast. Oh, oh, oh. Then keep the top so one alive. Fast. No. Oh. OK. Oh. I'm going to be doing it. You might it. make it. I might. What is this guy? This oh, that, those are viruses. Oh, those so, are the viruses. Yeah, I just made them faster just to, you know, just to make it a little bit more interesting. But they do pretty much the same thing as the other viruses. Oh, I didn't so have close. enough DNA. Oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Guess my immune system's not that great. Yeah, you have to work on that. Oh well. If you want to download the game, the link's in the description below. You should download it. It's really cool. It's free. Do it. Thanks for letting me play in this. Yep.